So Ngayon, I am currently in Metro Manila and tall volcano has just exploded. Plumes of thick, dark clouds of ash. Sunod, sunod din ang mga pagganig sa Batangas. We predicted the volcanic eruption. Almost non-stop. And this is a very significant event because it's been uh, many, many years. I think 1977 is the last time tall volcano erupted. Oh, that's it. Woo! This is the final. So this is the volcano? Yeah. Yeah. So young lava. It's crazy because I was there just a few months ago because I'm yung yung buong pamilya ko nag road trip kame sa Tagaytay, or particularly tall volcano which is in Batangas. And naalala ko nung pinanong ko sila, what are the chances of this erupting? Sinabi nila, baka decades, baka even centuries. Uh, it's a very rare thing. And nakikita ko lahat ng mga litrato and all these photos being posted. And nature is such a interesting thing. You know, napakaganda talaga. And it's also destructive as well, uh, part of the cycle. In tall volcano, isha sa sa mga pinaka unique volcanoes sa buong mundo, dahil may lake sa loob ng crater, which is something I've never heard about or seen. You know, it just takes me back to our trip and, and makes me wonder kung ano talaga yung, yung itura, how, how everyone will be affected by this. Real? Where'd you get that thing? Yeah, from my mom. Oh She's my been God. saving this since 1997. Gonna go cosplay outfit, lang to. <laughs> I need to cosplay. You want one? Sure. Yeah. Jeez, this is like. Is this name Bane? This is Mala Bane from Batman. All right, let's check it out. Brave, matikita mo talaga yung na. And I thought be May isang bagay na alam ko, which is it does affect the air quality. You can see it here on the coche and nagulan. This isn't a drama vlog or anything. It's a it's just a simple reminder to take the right precautionary measures for all of those who live around the area. Stay safe by staying indoors. Wear a mask. Kung may bandana or wet cloth, pwede mo gumitin ng yan. But most of all, I just say stay indoors for now. Let it pass. And you know, tulad ng sinabi ni Kapitan, like in, in one of the previous vlogs. Naku, Pinoy tayo. Bagyo lang yan. Or in this case, Pinoy tayo. Volcano lang yan. Alamo, our crazy tall volcano adventure. Ay, my God, oh, yung mga right. payat na kabayo. Uh -oh. <laughs> that was one of the isas mong pinaka delikadong ano, adventures we've ever done. Yeah. Can we get the boat through this storm? I hope so. We go yeah, now. That was very Dilim, dangerous Dilim. at night. What's going on? Why is there water coming? An underrated vlog, I'll link it below. Kung gusto nyo uh, manood niyan. We were just talking about it earlier, um, reminiscing on that story. So as I mentioned before, uh, we previously just did a trip to Brunei, which is what this is all about. And I just wanted to acknowledge this very significant moment that's taking place in the Philippines. Um, again, stay safe, everyone. And here's our trip.
not a raw vlog. This is a, I want to put some effort into this edit because this is a travel vlog. So ngayon pupunta na tayo sa Brunei. This is what we're doing for our holiday vacation. We wanted to do a random trip somewhere out of country. Hindi kami nakakapunta in a place na hindi masyadong maraming tao na nakakapunta para ma iba. Diba? Yeah. Pikachu. You know what? A lot of people have never even heard of Brunei. Comment below if you if you never heard of the country Brunei. It's a very small country. I think it's like top 12 smallest countries in the entire world. It is only two hours away. So parang pupunta tayo sa Davao, Mindanao. They used to own parts of Palawan and parts of the Philippines. We'll get more into the history of Brunei, what it's about, what you can expect. Pero sa totoo lang, I have no idea what to expect. Kasi hey, ika nga. Expect the unexpected. Nothing? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Never have any expectations, that's what I meant, because if you don't have any expectations, then you'll be surprised by everything. Your trip will be uh, very mas masaya, nakakatawa, nakakasaya, nakakatawa, lahat. And this trip already started on an amazing note. Sobrang masaya na ako because we just got surprisingly upgraded to business class. Everyone's vlogging. Daniel Marsh is coming on this trip. He's just late as always. <laughs> There's gonna be four vloggers. This is a very rare thing we rarely do. Last time we did this was in February. Here we go, it's gonna be a lot of fun. This is gonna be serious raw vlog style because I'm going back to the basics I with just my said, little this baby. Is not a raw vlog. You might have a raw oh. vlog. Sushi vlog? Mm-hmm. Let's go. Sushi vlog <laughs> with high quality cameras. I oh. <laughs> Definitely getting some. I have to make sure that I do every single year is that, but I should at least travel It's almost the end of the year. We are squeezing this in. We're gonna go to Brunei and Australia. Yan ang trip nato. This included me taking a lot of time off of work, you know, sacrificing a lot of jobs and money and other cool projects I could have done, but I prioritize this because sobrang mahalaga talaga yung traveling para sa karanasan. Just discovering new things, going to new places, and continuing to learn and grow and get cultured. That's what traveling is all about. Yes. How'd you get lost, dude? We've been <laughs> separated for 30 seconds and she's already lost. <laughs> she came up to me and she's like, do you need help? Hey! Thank you so much. Daniel's missing. What's new? Oh, we made it! Touchdown Brunei! So for the first 10 seconds I've been here in uh, Brunei, I'd have to relate it to Singapore. Closest thing of anything where it's like same weather, Singapore, Philippines, but the architecture, yeah, very nice with the palm trees and everything. Yeah, sure. This is so fun. I'm so excited. Like that that new country when it's your first time. The moment you walk, you're exiting the airport and you leave yeah. the big doors and, and you, you look out the, the windows. Country. Yeah, and you're driving and you're so like heading into the city. It's so exciting. And you get to relive that moment all the time because there are so many places to see in this world. Which you do every two weeks. And me, this is the first time I'm doing this in a year. The last time I went to a place first I've new never been to this year? was when we went to Iceland. February. That was a year ago. Oh, yeah. Crazy. Good morning.
place is huge. This is incredible. So this is all gold? Well, technically, yes. 14K. It's like a palace. Elodia stayed at uh, her friend's house, the Princess of Dubai. Lovely, it's amazing. I'm so speechless. You live here, Wafa. <laughs> Crazy! <laughs> but I am in shock. <laughs> this is beautiful. Yeah, right? And it's just like everything's gold. <laughs> nice. All right. All right, so we're gonna head to our rooms, which is, uh, we gotta take a buggy down the place because this place is massive. We are styled. You know you made it when you have two toilets side by side. <laughs> Bernay day one. Let's do this. Salamat pagi. In Bernayan means good morning. In Filipino it means thank you stingray. <laughs> I'll give you guys a, a little preview of how this Brunei trip has been. So habang nagbabalik yung mga travel vlogs just like we used to do before, I recently upgraded some of the stuff I'm using and gusto ko lang ipakita sa inyo to show you what has helped me facilitate ang aking cinematics kasama si Mr. Daniel Marsh. Isa akong simple vlogger. The only thing I use is what I need. I don't go extravagant with anything because magiging mas stressful drone. I just upgraded to 90D. A bit more smoother. Drone. Mas maliit sa phone ko. Tingnan mo yan. And it weighs less. You can put it in your pocket. It's convenient. Extra batteries, loom cubes, lenses, deodorant. Make sure you smell good. Uh, got the GoPro 8. The thing holding everything is really what keeps it all together and makes things simple in my life. And that is this bag by Case Logic. This is the real deal and I definitely would recommend it kasi hindi lang backpack siya, it's also a lens case holder, a divider. It keeps you organized. And that's one of the most important things in being efficient. It has a sleek design and the most important number one thing I look for in any bag na kailangan ko is it has a laptop holder which separates it from everything else so you don't have to maghalungkat through all your bagay bagay and all the mess. If you're the type to travel with a tripod like Mr. Daniel Marsh, it has a holder for that which you can adjust or or a Jovi pod, which is what I use. At my weather hood over the bag to protect it. Good when you're in an ankas and it just starts raining, diba? And arguably, ang pinaka importante sa lahat, it's comfortable. It has an ergonomic construction and it has extra padding. It's thick. Diba uso ngayon thick? So that is my very first and only what is in my bag. Better yet, what is my bag? I true lalu walang halong ek labu 100% recommend this to everyone because I actually use it and it makes my life easier. It's affordable, good for travelers, vloggers, and people like me that are doing stuff like myself. At salamat ng marami, salahat ng nanonood dito. I have an extra one which I'm gonna give away, so. Comment on my latest Instagram photo. Astig. All right. Let's, uh, let's enjoy.